meantime, two days on the job, and the new Houston ISD superintendent is already making big changes. Yes, employees from more than two dozen schools just learning that they will have to reapply for their jobs. Our Pooja Lodi is live outside of HISD headquarters, where she just spoke to the new superintendent and several new board managers. Pooja, it sounds like it's going to be a pretty busy summer. It definitely is because there are a lot of changes coming. Now, the new superintendent calls this the new education plan. He's starting off by targeting 29 different schools, but from there, he's going to go and target other schools. Superintendent Mike Miles spoke with us just after meeting with staff of some of HISC's lowest performing schools. He's asking every employee from principals to maintenance workers of the Wheatley Cashmere North Forest feeder system to reapply for their jobs this summer. No organization can maximize its, its effectiveness if how it compensates people is not aligned to what it values. He's raising teacher compensation at those 29 schools to a record $96,000 a year. Employees who aren't rehired will go to other HISD schools and soon, he says, all district employee pay will be tied to student performance. There's going to be some anxiety on most of the summer, probably, but we will keep moving the, the we'll keep putting information out there so that um, we can turn that anxiety and fear into best hopes. The district's new nine member board of managers found out just last Friday that they had been appointed. These new managers have a wide range of professional experience, but only one has ever taught HISD students. Another appointed manager lost in the last school board election, and at least one of them, Rolando Martinez, has previously spoken publicly against the TEA takeover. I felt like I had a more obligation to participate in this process and to make sure that um, the community had, had someone that represented them. Parents in the district um, should, should determine what they think about us after we've, we've taken some action. There is an achievement gap between our black and brown students and our other students to the extent of 50% right here in HISD. That is, that's criminal. As adults and as a community, we have to care about changing that or we're saying that's okay with us. Because I think all of us support the fact that kids need better than we're giving them today in HISD.